This looks like the kind of home you'd see in the pages of House Beautiful. And that's not surprising, because we've come to visit Joanne Barwick, the editor of House Beautiful, at her weekend retreat on the fashionable South Shore of Long Island. Today, though, Joanne's home will be used for work, not recreation. Internationally known photographer Lilo Raymond and her assistant George Ross are here to photograph the spacious living area. Now that's a real challenge, and we asked Joanne to tell us why. Interiors are a little bit different, the kind of lighting, because what you're trying for is a very natural light that is from the sunshine and the airiness that is, is very much a part of a room and part of the architecture of a room. And so it's important to, to talk to the photographer and discuss what it is you're trying to achieve. In some areas, we're trying to achieve just individual ideas for window treatments or for flower arrangements, but most often we're trying to get the whole ambience of the room, and we're trying to get the personality of the room. So we talk about the emotion of the room, which sounds like a peculiar phrase to use, but it's very important when you are trying to get people to try on the ideas, as we are for House Beautiful Readers. And so we discuss what we want to achieve. And in this particular case, we were trying to achieve the open airiness of the, the whole architecture. It's a one room um, living, dining, sitting area with lots of outdoor view, views and um, it's high ceilings and the cupola. And so it has this, this wonderful up feeling and we are trying to capture that. Photographer Lilo Raymond and her assistant George Ross want to create an open, sunny look, but the sun is out only from time to time. The strobes, which will be softened twice by umbrellas and by a large white sheet, will help to simulate a sunlit look. Well, what I try to do, or what I prefer to do, is to have the lighting as natural as possible, as it normally looks like. If there is um, a lot of light, I like to just fill it in. And it also depends what kind of uh, day it is, if the sun is shining, or if it's raining, um, if it's a dark day, then we usually have to fill in and sort of make sunlight. And George at times really um, figures out impossible things like recreating sunlight from outside. Now you can only do this when it's on the first floor, of course. <laughs> Um, we haven't figured out yet how we can do it, you know, on a 16-story apartment. Well, we, we work very closely together. Lilo will set up a shot, and uh, I'll look through the camera, and then we'll discuss what kind of feeling we want the picture to have. And usually we try and work closely with the natural light, and in some instances we just have to duplicate it. You know, it may look one way to your eye, but the film doesn't see it that way, and the camera doesn't see it that way. So we'll set up um, these complicated looking things with sheets and diffuse the light and make it very soft. But when you see the final photograph, you won't even know that the lights were there. Setting up strobes, umbrellas, and sheets for diffusion in an interior shot like this is complicated and time consuming. But according to Lilo Raymond, it's not the only way to accomplish this shot. Before I knew about strobes and all these things, I really took pictures without any lights at all. I took long time exposures with the available light and um, it seemed to have worked out. Now, I must admit, I always went to where the sun was shining and which room was lit up. And it takes a while, especially if people take their own houses, they have a knowledge when the light is best in each room. And you can do it and it looks quite natural you know, without lights on a, on a bright day. One can fill in with blue bulbs. One can use a small flash um, off the camera. I mean, there are many ways of doing it. Okay, that's it. That's good. The uh, light's coming right across. That's Fine, yeah, natural. it will be soft. But let's just watch out for the clouds okay. and the sun coming in and out when I'm shooting. But I think it looks beautiful okay. now. Okay, I'm just going to set a light up outside. If there's sunlight streaming through a window, fine. But if there isn't, the effect can still be achieved by positioning a strobe outside, aimed into the room without diffusion, which will create the bright spots and hard shadows of actual sunlight. Looks good, Lilo. Good. I think you've got a real good composition. Lighting looks good. A couple of refinements, a few moves here and there. Let's try something. Okay. 
I'll just fool around and do a few things right here, Lilo, and tell me whether you think the composition looks good. Okay. The coffee table may look overloaded here, but a big coffee table is to put a lot of things on that are interesting. Yeah, oh, I'm glad you're bringing the flowers. Let's try this. We can't have two flowers on the same piece over there, so let's try this. And I know it's going to look a little bit busy, but I think it's going to be interesting. And you tell me now, um, if I move this in a little bit. Yeah, it should be a little more towards me. A little more toward you. Okay, coming up. Fine. It now cuts this big vase. Okay. And we want a little splash of color up front here, and then I'll rearrange the flowers. Yeah, and if you could turn that book a little bit around so it okay. faces the camera a little more. I think that if I wasn't an editor, I would like to be a photographer. And I envy Lilo and her colleagues because I think you get a chance to, to express something else. And so that um, I love looking in the camera and uh, I, I really don't know about the lighting and, and things that are technical, but I, I do, I have learned a great deal about the composition and I've learned a lot from Lilo. And uh, so that one of these days, um, <laughs> maybe I'll have a new career because <laughs> I think photography is, is a wonderful expression.